Yes, mate. Come on, son. Concept soup. Back with another one. <laughs> oh, baby. Very, very nice uh, today. Yes, it's another gaming PC, and this is a beautiful, pure white gaming PC with some nice high-end spec, and that's what we like to see here on the channel. So today we're going to be going through the parts we're going to use, we're going to put the build together, we're going to show you the performance, and then we're all going to get on with our lives, because that's what we want to see. Okay, so straight into the parts list today. So our processor is the Ryzen 9 5900X 12-core, 24-thread processor. This is absolutely fantastic for any kind of high-end gaming, but it's also a prosumer CPU as well, so it'd be really useful for any other kind of projects like video editing, uh, any kind of other stuff, rendering, whatever you want to do. It's going to work out really nicely on this processor. To cool that, Ryzen 9s, yes, they do get pretty hot, so you need something pretty fancy to cool it, and that's why we've got the Lian Li Galahad 360mm liquid cooler in sort of silver slash white. Looks great, performs actually really well. This is one of my favorite AIOs in terms of performance and looks. Also comes with three really nice ARGB fans. They're super bright. They are the ST120 fans, so always happy to see those uh, in a build, especially if they're on a liquid cooler. They do work nicely on radiators. The motherboard we're using is the MSI B550 Unify. A nice high-end B550 board coming at a pretty nice price, uh, around £200. You've got your Wi-Fi 6 built in, but it's just got really nice um, build quality and it's going to really get the most out of these components that we're using today. The memory we have is the uh, Corsair Vengeance RGB, so this is the white version. Two lots of 16 making 32 gigs, uh, CL18 DDR4 speed, so really nice stuff. Nice addressable RGB on there, um, and you've got room to go up to 64 gig in the future if you want, which is pretty nice. For storage, we have um, a triple array of storage. So for our OS and applications, we have uh, a Western Digital SN550 500 gigabyte, um, which is going to be fine for running Windows and all your applications and that kind of stuff. And then for our games, we have a Kinks Western Digital Black SN751 terabyte. It's a little bit of a nicer drive, but it's a bit bigger. You've got a DRAM cache on there, so it's going to be nice for running games. Um, for our other storage drive, we have the ADATA SX8200 Pro, which is a 2 terabyte NVMe SSD. And this is the best out of all three. And this is what's going to be used for sort of other tasks like video editing and that kind of thing. A bit of extra speed, going to work out really nicely. The video card in this one is, of course, the thing that everyone is interested in, and this is the Gigabyte Vision OC RTX 3080 Ti. Very nice graphics card. I love the Gigabyte Vision graphics cards. They're probably my favorite out of all of the Ampere lineup. They just look really classy, look absolutely fantastic, and really do set off a white build very nicely indeed. And the performance is really good as well on the cooling side. Um, you know, considering sometimes these sort of fancier looking ones don't always perform as well, I was pretty happy with this one. The case is the Cooler Master TD500 mesh in white. Just love this case, it's one of my favourites. It's got a really nice fine mesh on the front. You've got three RGB fans on the front that come included. And it's just fantastic for airflow. You can fit a 360mm on the top, which is what we're going to do. And it's still got that sort of compact ATX size. So I was really happy with using this case, um, as I always am really. It's fantastic. Um, looks great, performs great. What more do you want from a case? The power supply we used was the Fractal Ion 850 watt gold rated unit. I think these are actually made by Seasonic, but they're obviously branded as Fractal. Really nice high quality power supply. Um, and the thing I like about Seasonic power supplies is they tend not to have really bad coil wine, which um, I've had with other companies, including Corsair. So I really like this power supply. I think it's fantastic. Um, we've also got obviously all of our RGB fans. We've got some white custom cabling as well. Um, and that's going to really sort of complete the look of this white build. Um, and apart from that, that's the parts that's done. You know, the customer also wanted some um, peripherals as well, but we're not going to go over those. We're not really particularly interested in that. So let's get into building this thing. But before that, we need to talk about our sponsor. So let's roll the VT. This video is brought to you in partnership with jcpccustoms.com, purveyors of fine gaming PCs. But why buy from JCPC Customs? There are three pillars to what we do. Enthusiast grade build quality, stunning good looks that you are proud to display, and all at a fair price. But how do you get your hands on one? Well, we've got 
three methods. We have the ready to go PC section. These are PCs that are already built, ready to ship out with optimized specifications. So excellent for the most fuss free experience. For those that want to spec out themselves, you can use our configurator listing. And this is where you can choose some lists of parts that we have available to us. But for the most granular experience, the truly custom experience, you can use our custom spec service. And this is where you fill out our Google form. You can choose every component, even down to the model number and any other accoutrements that you also want with the PC can be accommodated here. So thank you very much for watching and head to jcpccustoms.com to learn more. So we're back. I'm sure you'll agree this PC is absolutely beautiful. I love how this turned out. Silver, white, absolutely brilliant. Um, I was so happy with how this turned out. Really, the only thing we could have done to make it look a little bit nicer maybe is use that B550 Vision D motherboard to get that white sort of uh, motherboard effect. But come on, guys, this is absolutely fantastic. And uh, with the performance of the B550 Unify, I'm sure this was a happy trade off. Yep, looks absolutely great, but of course we also want to talk about performance. So jumping into Call of Duty Warzone, just playing, you know, a regular solo game. Um, we're getting around sort of between sort of 160 and 195 FPS. Um, this is on 1080p competitive settings, which is not bad for Call of Duty. Um, this is actually on the old map as well, because um, we made this uh, PC a little while ago. But I think that's actually really good performance, considering that... Um, Call of Duty is very RAM and CPU dependent, as well as graphics card really, but mainly RAM and CPU. So it is actually quite hard to crack 200 frames per second in this game, unless you want to go in and do a lot of tweaking on the RAM and the, the CPU and that kind of thing, which of course you're welcome to do just for obviously for selling a system. It doesn't really work out very well if you want to chuck an overclock on there. Um, so I was happy with the Call of Duty performance. We also um, tried out a bit of Fortnite and a bit of Apex. And of course um, in Apex Legends, we're maxing out the frame rate pretty much bang on 300 fps the whole time so that's not really too much of a surprise jumping into fortnite yeah sort of a similar story um most of the time over 300 to 350 fps which is fantastic you know if you're one of these people that's got a super fancy 360 hertz monitor then you know you're going to be having pretty happy days in fortnite you're going to be butter smooth gameplay for sure um so yeah happy with the gaming performance pretty much what i'd expect from this hardware um so yeah not really much else to say on that, so we can move on to temperatures next. So, um, as I said in the intro, the Ryzen nines do run pretty hot. So, you know, even with a nice elaborate cooling system like this, our Prime ninety five did max out at ninety degrees Celsius over a thirty minute period. But we also consider the equilibrium temperature, um, and this is actually something that I've made up. But it's basically ignoring all the big spikes that you get with Prime ninety five because it'll often spike up for maybe a half a second to a second and then come down to a more reasonable temperature for the duration of the test. For that, we were getting 70 degrees Celsius, which is pretty much what I'd expect. And that's the same kind of temperature you'd see in game as well. 
graphics card temperatures. Like I said in the intro, it's a really good performing card, the Vision OC. So 66 degrees was the maximum we saw on this in our OCCT testing. And yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. I think that is also helped by the fact you've got a nice fine mesh on the front of the case, which pushes a load of cool air over the graphics card. And that we've got this uh, CPU cooler mounted in the roof. Um, that also helps with GPU temperatures as well, because you're not pushing you know, hot air from a CPU into the case, if that makes sense. So yes, very, very happy with that indeed. We did also run uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, and I did forget to mention that a minute ago, and our average FPS in the benchmark was 195 frames per second. Again, bang on what I'd expect, and really, really great performance. So that's it. That's the PC. Um, as I said, happy with how it looks, happy with the performance, and I think this is a really nice system this customer is going to enjoy for many, many years. Let me know what you thought. Chuck a comment below, like, dislike, subscribe, share, all these buzzwords that we hear in the YouTube community, they do actually help. So if you could, yes, please engage with the video. And what do you think about the new camera setup? I bought a Logitech Brio. Um, I've noticed that the angle is a lot wider, so you can see a lot more of uh, the messy workshop that we've got here. You can see my packets of chewits. I've got a bit of a sweet tooth. Uh, let me know what you think um, about the new camera setup. Um, and I'm going to leave it there. See you in the next video, kids. Bye-bye now.